It is a cool little game, visual novel ask with some deduction based cool little courtroom action. Or something rather. It's similar to Danganronpa, it's, it seems. Plus, vouched by Danganronpa fans to be better than Danganronpa, or at least the characters are. Hopefully, I agree. I'm excited to see the characters. I've seen some of like the screenshots, like overarching, like banner art, and the the character's been pretty interesting. But I think the volume is okay. So let's continue from the very beginning. I don't think there's any voice acting, so I'll probably do all the voices as well. Hey, hiya. Ah, Just a random question. But do you know what a majority vote is? Uh, uh obviously. <laughs> no need to get mad. It's helpful to start conversations with easy questions. Oh, looks like somebody's over there. I love majority votes. They represent the way democracy should be. Following the will of the people. It's a method that minimizes conflict. I hate majority votes. They're just a way to silence the minority. It only takes more darkness to build in the shadows. <sighs> Sounds like they're having some tedious argument. Incidentally, whose opinion do you support? Mr. Blue or Mrs. Red? <sighs> We're already starting with this, huh? <laughs> Who do I support? Mr. Blue says... Majority is good. Miss uh, Red says majority is bad. What I'm, what I'm gonna say is without society agreeing on something, there's no society. So, in the interest of being a society, you know, it, it's like obviously, you know, it's like a, a black and white situation. We're gonna get canceled on, on Twitter probably as when I choose Mr. Blue inside with democracy. Uh, what, 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 do you do? what are you gonna do with, without majority vote, you know? The issue is, if Mrs. Red could give me, like, a better argument, you know, it's like, it's like give me an alternative instead of just bitching. I agree, I, I agree. Majority vote leaves people on the sidelines to suffer in silence. But now it's your turn. It's your turn to not die and give me an alternative method. Otherwise, all you're doing is complaining like a little bitch, you know? You're not giving me a reason. So let's let's go ahead and choose Mrs. Mr. Blue here. See ya, buddy. Aw, she died. But good for you. Your opinion had more supporters. In the end, the majority is absolute. That's just the way it goes in society. Huh? What's with that look? If you'd known the other person would die, you wouldn't have voted? <laughs> Come on. That will get you anywhere, okay? That's what the game is all about. You don't look pleased, huh? All right, if you insist, let's hold the vote. Your opinion versus mine. Okay, then let's go. Excuse me? Why he look like he is made of sandpaper? You don't look pleased. <laughs> oh, these are, are these my hands? Uh, am I a zombie? What's happening? Oh, I click. I'm killing this girl. I'm killing her. Ugh. I wonder if the colors matter. This is still the yellow, the yellow question marks. I had a weird dream. My jaw is sore. Because I was sleeping with my head on my desk. This late already. I have to go home. Better hurry. I wonder if the same beanie boy. Oh, wait. Sarah. It's, am I Sarah? I don't want to be Sarah. I, at least let me be beanie guy. He, he had like a nasty demeanor. I can get behind that. I, I can't change me being Sarah. Man, it's gone completely dark. Touch spots that look interesting. Touch spots. Oh, touch spot. Touch, look, you click. Okay, just confirm. Backlog, cancel. Skip text. Cool. The window looks interesting. The, la the light is on. Maybe it's the guard. Thanks for your tireless service. Pond? Campus pond. There's a room where if you look into that at midnight, your reflection will talk to you. Okay, let's, let's talk to it. Could be a great thing for to a loner. Seeing the school like this, it feels totally different at night. The wait, so wait, so I'm at school. I fell asleep at school and nobody woke me up. Are you serious? And now I'm, it's a the not even the guard woke me up. I woke up in my own volition, dude. The guard is so fake. Uh, are you are you probably too busy playing Honkai Star Rail or some shit? Are you kidding me? Oh, he's dead. The the guard is dead. The lights off. I have to walk home when it's this dark. Okay. I guess I'm leaving. Front door of the gate of school. I can't go home without going through it. Don't want to leave just yet. What do you mean you don't want to leave just yet? Excuse me. There's a person there. Oh, shit. Someone's there. Well, this is bad news, bears, no? This is not good. 
Oh, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> it's Joe. <laughs> of course. Of course, my Japanese high school. <laughs> With Sarah and Joe. Who does Joe remind me of? Well, that's a cute little dog. A couple bracelets. It's like, I love, I love cancer research right here. I like his ear cuff. What you doing, Sarah? Joe. Okay, I, I guess we're friends. I guess we're friends. Joe Mama. Oh, Joe as in like... J-O-U. Joe Tazuna. Joe, Joe the Tuna. <laughs> Joe the Tuna. So what is, what is Sarah's name in Japanese? My classmate at school. We often, we often found ourselves together. This is not a face that you should be making as a friend. You, you stuck around this late for clubs? I was going to wither up for, waiting for you. Well, it's fine. Listen. Hey, listen. There's something I want to tell you. Something, something to tell me? My thanks! Thanks for what, I wonder? Oh, you know, you introduced us, right? Me and Ryoko. Oh, he... I got him laid. Okay, the music is kind of bumping. Right. Such a good girl, I'm totally moved. Cute, huh? Adorable. And I saw her swallow a, a donor kebab hole today. So, dude, she... Throat game. Throat game! What is her name, Ryoko? A whole kebab. Wait, you went on a date? <laughs> what? <laughs> Was on it until a second ago. Just came back to school so I could uh, brag about it to you. You really should have just gone home. Alright, bragging complete. Let's go. Let's go home, Sarah. Canvas pond. Okay. Nothing else to click on. Lights are out. Nothing, el nothing else to click on. Okay, cool. Let's leave. Move. Path home. Let's skedaddle. And then Ryoko and I finally... Kissed. Fucked. How long is this even the story? You listening? We made huge progress. This guy's such a pain. Did you kiss or what? <laughs> Don't be stupid. Doing another first date? That'd be monstrous. We held hands. Outrageous progress, right? I mean, it was mostly that I fell into a ditch and she helped me up, but for such uh, for looking like such a flirt, you're awfully shy. What? <laughs> what about Misa's flirt? I'm hurt, man. As soon as it gets to me. Damn it, maybe I should go back to cut, uh, the crew cut I had in middle school. I started to mope. The poster wanting to watch out for strangers. That's it? You're not gonna say nothing, Joe? Come on. What is this? What, what is this thing? Is this a random square on the ground? Light? A faint sweet light luminous the area. What's up? Wanna hold hands? No, I don't wanna hold hands with you. Eh? Uh, uh? Uh, yes, no. I mean, either way, you know, if he if he wants to grab me, he could, right? So either way, it's fine. Let's just say yes. I'm saying that you probably crushed me with that amazing grip of yours. <laughs> nah, forget it. It's not like I'm boasting about it. But real talk, wouldn't it help things if you got a boyfriend? Why is it so quiet? Joe, did you? What? Why? Why? Why did? Why did? What? Why, why did Joe turn the music off? Oh, it's so I do have a stalker. You can't sleep, right? Because you're stalker. Is that what you always go home with me? D dummy, I just wanted to brag. Thank you. For what, man? Well, if you just feel like being grateful, I won't stop you. <laughs> I hate Joe's face. He has the face of a serial killer. Have you ever played any other, like, visual novel? This is the face the evil guy makes. Before he kills somebody. He is cute, I'll give him that. I like his fit. I like his uh, accessories. I, I, I'd spend a whole two minutes praising his fit, okay? His drip, he got some drip. Okay? So, let's be honest with each other. Your parents will be worried if you're late. Right. 
uh, move. <laughs> can I go back to school? <laughs> can I, can I go back to school? Oh, no. Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> what? Why do you, why do you have to stand like that? Okay, you better be friendly. This better be a friendly. Jo Joe, hit him with the, hit him with the sickness. Oh, shit. I have to run. Joe, run, huh? <sighs> Phew, we made it home. It's okay, it should be fine now that we're here. I'm s- I'm scared, Joe. I'm going to- am I going to- what if he kills me someday? I'm not gonna let that happen, okay? Joe. Call me any time, okay? And then you're gonna run to my house? I'll come with the boatload of freshmen. Is that gonna kill- is that gonna help me? Guy was staring. It seemed like he was trying to talk to me. Well, your parents are waiting, Sarah. Yeah. Hey, Joe. Be careful. He doesn't want to hear be careful. Guys don't like to hear be careful. Guys be like, eh, thank you, you know? Stroke his ego a little bit. It's all good. See, tomorrow at school, I'll, at least I know, you know, if Joe's beside me, right? And the stalker's across the street. That means at least, uh, unless there are two stalkers, and Joe is one of them, then we found the stalker, and it's not Joe. Hmm, the house lights aren't on. That's not good. House nameplate. Fancy lamp on the front porch. So it's not a power outage. Oh, God, really? This is not Gucci. But the lights aren't on. I don't want to go inside. I guess I'm going inside. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw out a wild guess here. I think my parents are in. I think my parents are dead. <laughs> oh boy. Oh hell nah. It's dark. Why aren't the lights on? Mom? Dad? Are you home? Push. The plant's fallen over. Something's weird about the house. So, this is where you call 911 and you get the shit out of Dodge. Okay? No one's gonna blame you if you call not the police right now and then just, like, try to stick it out. Living room. Normally, Mom would be in here watching TV and waiting for me. This MC is wild and for sure. D didn't Joe just say I could call him? Can I call him right now? Save. Save. Second year, Sarah Chidoin. Five foot five, standard. Second year at Samurai Ona. But, but it's both three N's. ID number, Samurai. That's not a number. That's a, a string of letters. Why, I'm the Samurai woman. Okay? This is the second floor. My room is up there. Okay? Uh, what, what one of my options? Living room, second floor. So if I go in the living room, I'm pretty sure I see my dead mom, right? This is dead mom territory. Let's go. It's pitch black. This is bizarre. Oh, why can't I leave the house? There can't be no one here. I'll turn the lights on. Is it the light switch? Turn on the lights. I have a bad feeling. Cancel. <laughs> Throw it in the hallway. Just, just leave. Just, just straight up leave, man. <laughs> Just straight up leave. Just straight up leave, bro. I, I don't want to be here no more. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna die. Turn the lights on. Still turn the lights on. Okay, turning them on. Yeah, I figured. Uh, uh, Mom? Hey, there's a key. There's a key on the floor. Tin room key. Why is this here? Hey, Mom. Mom, hang in there. She's still breathing. She's faint. What do I do? Call the police, woman! Call the police! Call the police? Where's my phone? I have a phone? Mom, hang in there? What do I do, okay? Call the police? Turn the lights off? Okay, I have my room key, though. Let's go. Sarah! Joe! Okay, thank God for Joe. 
please help my mom's collapsed. Stay calm, do you call it the hospital? <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Same what we're all thinking. This is where we call 911 or any police service. You know, even the fire department would be better than nothing. Not yet. I, 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 I need to call. Don't handle this. Listen, Sarah, you need to be calm. Joe starts to make a call. What am, what am I doing? I'm all out of sorts. But I need to do something. Something. Okay, well, I guess we're... Mom's still alive? Yeah, mom's still alive. Okay, cool. Let's go upstairs to my room, then. M might as well. I've, I've literally have no other options. It's all scripted, I guess. It's locked. I have the key. It'll. I'll open it. With this key. And then I'll get jumped by the killer. Because he's obviously in here. Actually, that's not true. That doesn't make any sense. It, okay, so he locked my room key. Locked my room with my key. Went downstairs. Knocked my mom the fuck out. Right? And then left the key down on the ground. Huh? Uh, I'm gonna die then, right? Dad? Dad? Dad, are you, are you here? Mom collapsed. Dad, where are... Three hands. Two. Two motherfuckers in there. At least. There's at least two dudes in there. This is gonna be like Bukake Central. Sorry, that's really rude. Actually, this is really serious. This is really serious, please. I'm gonna try to lighten the mood. Where is this, I wonder? Looking at the ceiling? Why am I sleeping here? I remember the situation, I remember myself. What? I can only choose one? I can't do both? You, you crooked. Oh my goodness, okay. Between, okay, between remembering where I am and who I am, I think where I am is more important. I can, I can figure out who I am later. If I remember that I'm being kidnapped here, this is better for me. I think I went home. Right then, mom. M mom! I could, could try to sit up, but I couldn't. Something on my head? Touch it and check. Think calmly. Is something on my head? What do you mean something on my head? Think calmly. Right now, I see some lying down. On a bed, maybe. What is this thing on my head? Like a, I guess I'll check it then, if you're gonna do this. I fearfully touch my head. Some kind of belt or... Uh, I'm... Jigsaw is here. I want to play a game. Am I being tied down? It's like some kind of restraint. No way. What's the meaning of this? My temperature rose. Suddenly fear awakened in me. No. Wh where is this? Somebody! I had no freedom to move. Beside my head, my left arm, torso, and legs also seemed to be restrained. All that I could move was my right arm. Oh, I so I got one right arm to escape due to Houdini myself out of this. I was about to scream and then went quiet. The stalker. He harmed my mom. And then he brought me here. I wonder, am I going to die? <laughs> Dude, this is the, I love this dialogue. It plays right into, like, you know, like a book. Going to be killed. Oh, Joe again. Jo Joe again. S Sarah, are you, are you there? That voice. Joe, is that you? Are you next to me? Yeah, but I can't move. Can't, can't you do something? Joe's in the same situation? Homie. Of course Joe got had, because he's in... Uh, wait, where's the police? Didn't he call the police? What happened? A phone. Search po... Uh, l let's see if Joe can see. Actually, let's check my pocket first. Found nothing. Ask Joe. Joe, is that yours ringing? Huh? You're right, something's in my pocket. Here. Hello? Uh, whoever you are, help us. Beginning voiced guidance. Huh? The first trial will now begin. Sarah and Joe. Find the key hidden in this room. Then remove your restraints. You cannot do so before the time limit expires. The device in the bags will activate. 
and your bodies will be crushed with a thud. By all means, please enjoy this thrill with your body and soul. The time limit is a healthy five minutes. Healthy five minutes? Who says that? What are you, my pediatrician? And note there is only one key, so please discuss who will use it. What the heck is this? The first trial? We'll die in five minutes? <laughs> what are we gonna do? There's something to there about that. Search pocket? I found nothing. Ask Joe. Check your clothes. Yikes. Well, it took something in my pocket. I thought I, I might have dropped something. No way, pick it up. Got it. Grab it, it's the key. All right. Use that key, give me that key. Okay, so here's the deal, guys. Here's my big brain strat, okay? Ready for this? I'm gonna say, instead of give me that key, I'm gonna say use that key, and then Joe's gonna be like, no way! Only one of us can use that key. <laughs> or is he, or do you think Joe's too dumb? Do you think Joe will just like take it at face value and use the key? Use that key, Joe. You sure if I do, you'll... Okay, he, he remembered, he remembered. That choice is telling me to shoot them. I might die. But... Joe, I'm sure you can figure something out. Got it. I'll use it. Then I'll save you two definitely. Joe, Joe's got me. Joe's, Joe's got me down. If I die, I die, okay? I'll just reset. Damn, that took some time. I need to save uh, Sarah somehow. Save. Oh, it actually does count down. There's a dial in yeah, four digit code. Should I mess with this? Yes, sure, man. No. A green lock. I need a green key. Sandpaper hanging. Stupid thing. Okay. Dial four digit number. Sure, let's use it. Uh, I, I don't suppose the number in the corner will help me. If this is not the number, well, Bob's your uncle, guys. What's the point of that? Sandpaper. Key. I, I'll, I'll, just, I'll try it. Why not, guys? Too big to fit. Open the door. Is it... Uh, okay. What are these numbers? D did it not work? Did it not work? It did work. <laughs> it, it totally made a sound. It totally made a sound. <laughs> I, have no, I still have no idea. Why does this key fit anyway? I can use a sandpaper. Shave off a bit of the key. Go. Go, hurry. I screwed up the red resin. It's a green key. It's a green lock. What should I do? Use the red key. Wow, I'm so good at this game, guys. Really? I'll move these now. Thank you, Joe. Let's go, dude. Let's go. First trial completed. No sweat. Can you stand? There's a door here. Let's get out of here pronto. Wait, Joe. One trial surpassed. Damn, it's pitch black. I can't see anything. Go along the wall. We should stay put. I mean, technically, it would be safer to stay put, but who, who stays put, guys? Let's move. Left is dead end. We should... Seems like we can only go right. I mean it, Sarah. Don't let us get separated. Right. Okay, you better be holding hands then or some shit. We'll keep going straight ahead. But as far as we walk, we didn't see any light. It seemed to be a very, very long hallway. Or maybe we weren't advancing much at all. Joe? Use the phone. Oh, we got a flashlight, maybe. Use the phone for light. Could you try to use it for light to light the way? Nice one, Sarah. Man, you're smart. No, I'm, you're just dumb. I mean, you know, affectionately. Himbo energy. Did you bring it? I left it back there. Guess that's that then. What can give us some light? Uh, obviously, you have a lighter on you, right, Joe? We're switching ourselves, and suddenly, I get grabbed. Whoa! We fall from the sky. The, the floor underneath us opens. <laughs> we, f we fall to our immediate deaths. My feet left the ground. Am I flying up? 
No, we're falling! The floor gave way. <laughs> How long? How high? How far are we falling? I feel my sense is growing distant. Okay, guys, congratulations. Hey, get up. Oh, no. I bet a lot of people like this guy. Hello? You can't just sit there stupefied forever, miss.